welcome back. This is Wendy Historian, and today we are talking about possibly my favorite One Direction song. No, you were not hallucinating. Just this past Friday, Directioners everywhere were blessed when three out of the five boys performed One Direction songs on their solo set lists on the same day. Harry Styles performed Stockholm Syndrome again. <laughs> Niall Horan performed Story of My Life. And Louis Tomlinson performed Where Do Broken Hearts Go? That last performance choice was probably the most surprising and unexpected because unlike Stockholm Syndrome, which Harry has performed before since going solo, and unlike Story of My Life, which was a ridiculously popular single, Where Do Broken Hearts Go is more like what Niall Horan would call a deep cut from the records. Though it was released a week early for fans that pre-ordered four on iTunes. If you have pre-ordered our album today, you get another song now. What is that song called? Where the broken hearts go? Dun, dun. It was never an official single, and it hasn't been performed by any of the boys since the hiatus. It was, however, a fan favorite from day one. Day one of the album leak. <coughs> it was written during the era where One Direction was touring stadiums globally, and this song? Boy, is it a stadium song. Big is the word that describes the sound of this song best. This song was designed to be screamed at the top of your lungs. So it's little wonder that both Zayn and Niall named Where Do Broken Hearts Go one of their favorite songs on the four album. I concur. The four album was a massive departure sonically for One Direction, and there was pure rock influence injected throughout the album. In theory, because this was at a time in the boys' career where they were trying to do what a lot of boy bands do, and that's to shake off the stigma that comes with being a pop group by creating something more mature. But even among a collection of experimental pop rock anthems driven by drums and keys and guitars, Where Do Broken Hearts Go still manages to stand out as the rockest and most anthemic. So much so that when One Direction performed this song on the X Factor finale in 2014, Ronnie Wood, as in the Rolling Stones guitarist Ronnie Wood, performed it with them. <laughs> to this day, I consider that to be their best live performance ever. Harmonies, slay. Zane's vocals are in another stratosphere. <laughs> and the instruments are incomparable. Fans absolutely loved the energy in Where Do Broken Hearts Go, and how even on the studio version, you could feel the live performance potential, and it just gave you chills. It was also extra exciting to any fans who were involved in the Let Niall Sing movement, because oh, Niall sings on this song. He opens it, and then has what sounds like two solos back to back. He solos the entirety of verse one. And during this time, the norm, the expectation that fans had was that Niall was going to be playing guitar on tour. And then all of a sudden we get a guitar heavy anthem that Niall owns the first verse on. Oh, the Niall girlies were fed. Fans quickly decided that this was Niall's song now, which was extra funny because Niall wasn't involved in the writing of this song. Neither were Liam and Louie, who notably have writing credit on the majority of One Direction songs. No, the only One Direction member to have writing credit on Where Do Broken Hearts Go is Harry Styles. You did something that's so good, you went, uh, someone else. There are only seven songs in the entire 1D discography that Harry alone has writing credit on. Additionally, this song boasts more than one woman writer, which again, was a total rarity in the 1D discography. I think it might be the only song with more than one woman writer. There are only, I think, 11 songs? that have a woman listed as a writer? And this is one of them. Is it any wonder Niall described the song as perfect? And those writers include Teddy Geiger, who also co-wrote Little Black Dress. We all remember Teddy Geiger, right? The chokehold that Teddy's blue eyes had me in. Teddy Geiger also wrote my all-time favorite song about breaking free from the walls that you built to protect yourself. Up until a couple years ago when a certain someone else wrote a song about walls. To quote Zayn Malik, I would love to hear Where Do Broken Hearts Go played on the radio. But in the meantime, it's streaming season. And Where Do Broken Hearts Go is the kind of song you blast with the windows down. Where do broken hearts go? In honor of Pride Month, I am dedicating today's video to Teddy Geiger, who is now living her life as an out and proud trans woman. Teddy, I love you. And your eyes are still gorgeous.